Five seconds remaining. Zeus. Four durations done every time. It's not so much about the charge speed. I mean, 50 move speed is great and all. It's not like it's nothing, first but uh, you're prioritizing it over Greater Bash as there is a first blood mid. Good first rotation blood. from Venge here. Very easy kill just onto Shadow Fiend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just pointing it is often enough. Like, minus 10 armor is a huge deal, as we're going to see right here. This is a pretty dead bad rider, more than likely, unless he gets across here. Oh, it's close. Radiance now Secret is in trouble. Slytherin Crush on two. Dogfights is here. Maybe they can turn it around. The Batrider comes back in. Three HP. He's still alive, but just barely. SSS now chasing down ZinQ. It's a level two dagger. And I think your Zeus is just going to be food here. No way to get away from it. There's your magic missile. And they find yet another kill. The Batrider limps back to the well, but still a double for Yames here on the Lion. Four to nil. If yeah, greed will allow, why the hell not? Lasso coming in, Batrider gets broken straight away with a swap, but they lose the Venge and they'll also get the kill on Queen of Pain. King J with a big Omni Slash. Sets up a series of kills, but now Secret coming in, finger to bring down the Juggernaut. Secret may get punished here. Wand keeps him alive for now. U9 is hasted up under the tower, now getting charged by the Spirit Breaker. He does not have another strike, not enough mana and no stick. So he'll just come cruising on through and has to retreat instantly. Takes a zap, takes a fissure, but they can't get the kill. One for two. At least it's the jug that VGP get the kill on. This Roche is now going to die. And what they could have done instead with the rotation bottom was to maybe find a kill for nothing. Although this is a really good fissure on this slash. Okay, Yang also good takes here the Omni slash. He goes down first. Dog fights. He'll get flame broken and he'll go down as well. Two for nil trade after the Roche. But they don't pressure the tier 2 top, so it's still an okay trade for VGP. Terrible trade with a double Midas. We should not forget that they start paying more and more for themselves here as Spirit Breaker has a Shadow Blade. Here we go. And uh, Yule's used on to the Shadow oh! Beats. It's up for a huge Sonic Wave on three. LPC, U9, and King J all get thrown six feet under. SSS, the man of the hour, making that look easy. That was really, really good execution from VGP. So nice self fuels by the Shadow Fiend when the when the ult of Spirit Break was about to come in. But the Orchid from Quap prevents Shaker from casting Fissure and Enchant Totem there, and even the Echo Slam and Wave just blew them up entirely. Very oh. nice rotation as Bat Rider is going to no. get crushed. He blinks forward with He's the dead. lasso, can't find it, and the counter initiation is there from the Slardar. Now Yang follows up. They go on to Zing Q. They'll get another kill out of it. Somebody TP to the tower. Now he falls. It's a bloody disaster for Tong Fu. All of a sudden, all five are in the grave. It's another three for nil trade. Middle tower is under what attack. in what happened? Well, lasso, so still manageable for VGP. I like this pickup here. Yeah, here comes the uh -oh. fight. This is when it has to happen. Smoke. Game's the one caught by the lasso. Didn't have a chance to get the Lincoln's buff on him, but now the follow-ups here. SSS goes for LPC. He's getting charged, but killed by the quad. Now U9 sets up a kill onto the Venge. A one for two so far, but U9 will get punished. The amp damage to the BKB, as you mentioned, still makes him super squishy. ZinQ will take the nether strike. He'll go down. It's just King J and Bingo to make it back to the base. Ends up as a two for three. Favorite going for Vici Gaming potential. Kung Fu putting up a decent fight. All of their heroes with buybacks, but still coming up short. 20, Spirit Breaker sitting at 19, and that is a pretty good advantage over Tong Fu. Another good Sonic Wave, connects on two, follow-up Lasso's there, but Quap still gets the kill on the Shaker. Dogfights will end up going down to King J. Whoa, he takes a finger, and will go down again. One for two so far, Lion putting the Yules, that for Zing Q, Yules as well. There's your Spirit Bomb, brings down two, Lion and Queen of Pain. But they will punish U9 for this, and it'll end up as a disastrous fight. A three for four. I guess all things considered, given the position of Tong Fu, that's about as good of a team fight as you can hope for. <laughs> if you're behind 20,000 gold and you get a three for four outside your base, I think that's actually pretty good. Ward expires now, but it's in long enough to see them walk into the pit. SSS trying to defend that ward on the high ground. The game of chicken continues as both sides try to find the right angle to initiate. King J will get charged. Yang uses his BKB. The follow-up is there. LPC, the first casualty of this fight. Now King J getting bashed through his BKB. Nether strike. Sonic Wave is there. Kill on two. Juggernaut and Batrider both fall to Yang. And that's it. Tong Fu call it there. They don't have a buyback on the jug. And they say, we're not getting Roche. And we're not even going to bother defending our base. That's Radiant it. Two to victory. nil. And the run for Tong Fu is cut short.
they just got outplayed in all aspects of the game, in both games. They got outdrafted, they got outmaneuvered, individually outskilled. Um, overall decision making and just strategizing just seemed like VGP were a way better team today and were were more of a team, right? You had the feeling that they were really communicating, playing together, trying very much to set things up and do things as one unit, whereas for me today, Tong Fu looked like a mix. Like they, they looked like a group of players that hadn't really played together in the past. They got together to just, uh, you know, just try to play, play together as a group. Seemed never really to be on the same page. There were a lot of moments in the game where you feel like if that was VGP playing Tongfu's heroes and vice versa, then maybe VGP would have come out ahead in the fight and would have